Hello everyone and welcome back to PAX and Recreation and today we're going to go for a weird one because today's product is a Pokemon lunchbox. I, you are never too old for this. Is a Pokemon trading card game collector chest. That's a nice way of putting this. A, tre a treasure chest packed with Pokemon. So let's try to open it and see what are those treasures. As you can see, this is the type of product that I'm gonna be honest here, I don't know if I like or I hate as a person that is too old for this, certainly, because this is not something that you buy at your local game store. This is more, so, I mean, you can, but this is more something that you buy at a supermarket or like something like that. This is like the, an aisle toy kind of thing that they put like next to the to the checkout cards and stuff like that, because you see it and you're like, oh, a lunchbox with Pokemon, that's cool. And it says it has three foil cards featuring Meowskarada, Skeledirge, and Quavacal, or Kavacal, or whatever, six Pokemon TCG booster packs, and much more, which is crazy. And you have the much more detail here. So six booster packs, three foil cards, one cool Pokemon coin, four colorful sticker sheets, one mini portfolio to store your favorite cards, and one code card for Pokemon TCG Live, which is great. So now, is this cool for you to take to school? I don't know. It's kind of, kind of cool. I don't know if I like this Charizard because the the crystallized Pokemon are not really my thing, but um, it's certainly a cool design. I don't know if kids use lunch boxes anymore, but Kavakal uh, right there. Charizard here, it's kind of Muscarada here and Skeletirch here. It's kind of a noisy design, but um, it's kind of the usual with Pokemon. It can be worse. If you see any Ultra Pro uh, playmat, you know what I mean. And, uh, you know, it's all metal, except for this, um, for uh, what's the name of this? I can't, except for the handle, which is plastic which i guess is okay because you know if you're in a cold area or something you want to have your hands frozen by it i guess now inside it does look like a treasure cove so that's nice you have the promised uh, foil promos of quavacal Mioscarade, and skeletirch and a cool pokemon coin of charizard now let's see there you go well, it is a cool Pokemon coin, for sure. And on the other side, the usual Pokemon black logo, but uh, it's like a... It's like, these things more than coins, they, to me, they always struck me more like a, a massive Tasso, uh, or like... Damn, I always forget the, na the name for Tassos in English. Um, damn. Well, you tell me, uh, you know, the things that you throw and try to flip them over and stuff like that. I never remember the name in English for those things. So there is that and the three promos, which are not too bent. That's good for Mioscarada, Quavacal, and they are not well, they are not under too much pressure. That's also good. That means that you don't need to bend them to, to remove it. That's cool. This is, I mean, this is Recycling 101, I guess, but this is kind of cool if you want to display three, three, three cards. It's kind of okay. It says Pokemon here and all that. It's okay. I mean, recycling is, is caring, right? So let's see. Skeletirch, 180, Passionate Singing and Blazing Shout, uh, Quava, uh, Quacaval, uh, Energy Carnival and Hydro Kick, and Miauscarada with Tree Cape and Flower Bust. Now, which is your favorite starter of these three? Leave that answer in the comments. And the other is, which one do you think has the coolest drawing here? I have my based opinions and actually the three of them look kind of cool to be honest in these drawings. So that's what, one thing that I like about Pokemon cards is that they always do cool drawings. For example, Quava, Quava, Quaquaval uh, looks actually cooler in the image than he ever looked in the game. So <laughs> there is that, I guess. So let's put the trio here and 
the coin. Now, what else is here? Okay, the boosters. We get boosters from Paradox Rift. We get three. Plus three. Not bad. Another thing to hold cards, I guess, if you want to reuse the, the launch box. A sticker sheet, which is kind of cool, with Charizard uh, Terra crystallizing. Uh, same same image twice, but well, one with the Pokeball and the other not with the Pokeball. And I don't know if it's just me, but I will totally cut this one to use the sticker as well, because this is also a sticker, it's just not cut out. So there is that. Oh, you get one for each Pokemon, that's cool, with their numbers. So one for Quackaval, or Quackaval, one from Skeletridge, and one for Muscarella. Well, that's, that's cool. You actually can... Now, see, different different art style. Which one has the best looking stickers here? And it's kind of crazy to see that they are number 914, 11th, and 8th. Man, we have come a long way with, <laughs> with Pokemon. So, stickers here. We'll leave them here for a second. And then, in the end, you get this nice little... mini card album which is actually kind of cool you know you want to you want to you want kids to be like in like careful with the with cards and if you are if you are you know if they are into a hobby like uh, tcg you need to teach them that you know half the battle with tcgs is preservation not only saving the cards in proper conditions with sleeves and all that but more importantly, uh, <laughs> collecting them properly so that you know where they are whenever you need them. So, not bad. A mini album here, not bad. You know, again with the same art style. I'm not a super fan of this thing here. This is kind of too noisy for me, but it's kind of cool. And, you know, the rest of the lunchbox. Now, the plastics. Why I am such a dork about plastics? Well, there is a reason for that. And the reason is that um, you will notice that you can just use the launch box, launch box as a launch box if you want to use it for storing cards maybe it's better like this without nothing but maybe you want to keep this and just put your cards in here see so this is useful and then you have the other two trays to put stuff on top so you can actually keep this thing into a more or less you know shape if you want to use it as a treasure trove or something, as it's supposed to, a treasure chest, as it's supposed to be, right? So I'm going to put this here for a second, and let's focus on the. Oh, the way here's the here's the card for the lunch box, in case you want it. Now let's focus on the boosters. Let's see what are we going to pull. Let's begin. As usual, remember that just because you buy the launch box doesn't mean that you're going to get the same um, cards that I'm going to pull. That depends a lot on your luck, because this is luck-based. So, um, let's see. Yamask. Ferrothorn. Not bad. You can already see the, the foil card in the back. Curse Duster. Just put this thing here. Or beetle. Ooh, a foil golisopod. Not bad. Not bad at all. And ooh, another foil. In this case, it is a minun. A foil minun. Okay. Body puzzle. So body pulls. Let's see if we can get puzzle and have the the, the dynamic duo together. Ooh, another foil. A chinyu in foil. In this case, is is what the kids call a reverse foil. Uh, so a Chinju as well. Not bad. Three foils and a single booster. Not bad. A basic energy and a code for you. Lechonk, which is always great. Uh, one thing that I, I... One thing that beats me about Pokemon is... The, the, the amount of types never fits the entire entire playmat. Togepi, always great. Lampent, Gloom, Frogadier, one of the best starters ever. Stunfisk, 
Salazzo and a foil Lidwick, not bad. A foil Froki, which is great because uh, we have Froki and Frogadier, so we're just missing Greninja. And sadly, this is not Greninja, but it's Palafin. Nice. Palafin is kind of creepy uh, to me. I don't know if it's just me, but it, it has something that just doesn't vibe. A basic energy and a Coderino for you, mi amigo. Let's put the lance here because... The, the lance, sorry, the energy. Because sadly no one cares about the energy. Girafarig, or Girafarig, depending on how you want to pronounce it properly or not. Tropius, great. A great ball, talking about great. Hopip. Ace Q. Uh, Iono Knuckle Stack which Knuckle N-A-C-L is the element composition of salt which is great Slowpoke in foil what I love Slowpoke I guess this one is the reverse foil because everything is foil except for the drawing itself a Bravery Charm also in foil and so we're getting three per, per booster. That's the normal. I was like, oh, crazy. And it's like, this is normal. And Tinkaton in foil. Not bad. But I love the way it shines just behind the hammer. It's just, it's just like the shining comes from the hammer right there. Cool. So basic energy. And a code for you. Let's see. Three to go. As remember that it comes with six boosters, and as usual, remember that whatever you pull is random. Uh, Pampur, Blitzel, which Bound Sweet, Phoebus, Garbodor, Technical Machine, Evolution, TM Evolution. Since when is an evolution is a TM? What's what's up here? Uh, Durant. Not bad. Ooh, a trainer card in foil. In this case, it's Rika. Look at the top four cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards and put them into the bottom of your deck. Okay. Ooh, Professor Turo's scenario from the future. Because Turo, because it comes from Futuro, which is future in Spanish. And put one of your Pokemon in play into your hand, discard all cards attached to that Pokemon. Oh, this card looks great. Nice, nice, nice. Nice pull. Chien Pao, which is the, the, the Polar Bear Pokemon, in foil, an electric energy, and a code for you. Second to last in this Paldia Evolved. Lunchbox, Snowball, Capsakid, Drillbur, great art, Kopchu, great art as well, Kangaskhan, everyone loves Kangaskhan until they remember the Pokedex entry for Cubone, uh, Wishcash, the Pokemon that was banned because of the earthquakes, the, the Pokemon episode that was banned because of the earthquakes in Japan, uh, Floatzel, Electric in foil, not bad, not bad at all. Togedemaru in foil as well, very cool. And Gita in foil, okay. You're getting a lot of trainer cards, a basic energy and a code for you. And now the last booster of the launch box. Last but not least. What is it going to be? Are we going to pull anything better than the Professor Turo there? I don't think so. Super Road. Super Rod, sorry. Love Disc. Snover. Fletchling. Uh, normal goes here. Oops. Pomo. Tinkatoof. Always great. Bravery Charm. And now for the foils. Talonflame, which is an amazing looking card. Look at that Talonflame right there. Badass. Cool, cool, cool. Hariyama, also looking very cool and badass. And the last one is... 
Pomod, not bad. A Pomod in foil. Match Mac Bolt and Electric Fist. It's cool, but we don't. Can we evolve it? Yes, because we have Pomo there. There you go. We can. We have the, the playset right there. A basic metal energy and the last code for you, my friend. So that was the Pokemon lunchbox, or as they call it, Pokemon collector chest for Paldea Evolved. Now, is it worth it? Well, for the right price, I think so. I think that if you can get it for, I don't know. 20 bucks maybe, 25, I don't know, it depends on your store and your country, I think, but it certainly comes with a lot of things, and it's a lot cooler than I was thinking, because I was like, oh, it's just a lunchbox, and, you know, it is, with a plastic handle, but if you're a kid, you can take this to school, this is great, I would love to have one uh, like this when I was younger, and if you're not a kid, this is actually pretty good to store your cars in here, and you can keep the plastics to actually store them. If you don't keep the plastics, it's okay, but they are going to dance. If you keep the if you keep the plastics, your cards are going to stay. Oop. <laughs> well, you actually need to do it properly, which if you give me a second, I can show you. So let's pick all of our cards. <laughs> this is normally the, the part of the video that you don't see. Let's pick all of our cards. And, you know, your collection will grow as you get more cards and buy boosters and all that. So, the plastic, this is me advocating for recycling, right? The plastic actually works as a, as a security feature. You have this here, you can put anything here to keep the cards from falling apart. There you have it, then you close, and then you have your cards in there like a little treasure. You can put some more dividers on top if you want. It's precious. <laughs> me, me defending plastic. It's pretty cool, right? And when you have enough, it fills the thing automatically. When you have more, when the, the only thing that you have to do is remove the plastic. And in the moment, the moment you remove the plastic, you can fit all the cards that you have, which, you know, it fits quite a lot of cards. Now, it's not perfect, right? And as you can see, the best way of putting cards in here is like this, so two rows like this, and they are still going to dance, so I will not recommend you to store like super valuable cards in here, just, you know, the cards that you don't care that much about, and, or, you know, if you care about them, sure, but just use this as a treasure, treasure box and open it like this, and not as a lunch box, because your cards are going to suffer a lot there, but hey, you get a lunchbox, you get six boosters, you get a cool Charizard coin, which is kind of okay. By the way, it's plastic, so don't get fooled. It's not like a metal or something. You get this mini album for you to put your valuable cards in here, and you get these three promos for the starters. By the way, which one is the coolest? Up to you. And also, besides all the codes that you get, you get one code for the lunchbox, and you get stickers, and everyone loves stickers. So you get a sticker, one sticker for each starter, and then one for Charizard. I think it's pretty good value. Again, for it is what it is. It is for kids, or unless you really want a lunchbox or you really want a metal box to put your cards in, which, you know, it could be worse. So I think it's overall pretty good. It's all about the price. And I think that, uh, you know, around if you can get it for less than, than 18 or something, be my guest. But I, I haven't seen it. Uh, so it is what it is. As per usual, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time on Packs and Recreation. Bye.